Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this Kindle sleeve or book sleeve, it can be for either, inspired by the folklore cardigan. So if you want to make this then keep watching and I'll show you how you can make it to any size. So the size that I'm making is for the Kindle Paperwhite and what I did was measure the width of my Kindle. I'll also show you how you can make it bigger for books of different sizes so don't worry you can make it for your Kindle, for books or even a tablet. For our folklore inspired sleeve you will need yarn in your main colour, I'm going to be using blue, and then a different colour yarn for your accent colours. You'll need scissors and a 4.5mm hook. To begin we're going to start with a slip knot and then we're going to chain the length that we want. So if you want to do the same as me for a Kindle Paperwhite I'm going to chain 22 but you can chain more or less depending on the length of the width that you want. Once you have all of your chains, you can then go ahead and measure if it's going to be the right length of your width. And I'm just going against my Kindle to see if it's going to work and make sure there is some extra chains for the sides. If you are making a sleeve for a book, you want to add extra chains for the thickness of the book that you are doing a sleeve for. So you would probably want to add an extra two to four chains if you're doing it for a book. For row two, what we're going to do is chain one more. So that means I'm going to have 23, 22 plus the extra. So do your extra chain and then what we're going to do is do a double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to continue doing double crochets for the entire first row. So I will have 22 double crochets. So I now have my 20 double crochets which is the length of my Kindle's width. What we're going to do now is chain one and turn. We are always going to chain one before we turn. For the next row we're going to be doing two double crochet. So we're going to do our first double crochet and then we'll do our second double crochet. Now we're going to start working on our cable stitches and this is a little bit different so what we're going to do is wrap our yarn around our hook as if we're doing a double crochet and we're going to insert our hook behind the third double crochet which we call a post. So you're going to insert your hook behind this post and you're going to bring your yarn through. And then we're going to do what is called a long double crochet. So you're going to wrap your yarn around and go through the first loop only. Then you're going to wrap your yarn around and go through the next two loops. Then wrap your yarn around and go through the last two loops. And then we're going to do the same to the post next to it, which would be the fourth. Because we're making a cable of four stitches. So go behind your post grab your yarn, wrap around, go through the first loop, wrap around, go through two loops, wrap around, go through two loops. And then what we're going to do is go behind the first post. So wrap around and we're going to go through that first post that we skipped. So doing the same thing, we're going to go behind, grab our yarn, going to wrap around, go through one, wrap around, go through two, wrap around, go through two, and then we're going to go through the second post here. 
and by going in this order it creates the twist in our cable. And this is called a front post stitch. So now we have a group of four. So this is what it will look like once we have more rows, a big cable which is our group of four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet, just a regular double crochet in the next stitch. Make sure you're not doing it in the stitches where we did our post but the next one after. And we're going to do a regular double crochet. Then in the next two stitches we're going to do a normal front post stitch so we're not going to do any twisting. So go behind, go wrap through one, go through two, go through two. Then we're going to go behind the next stitch, grab our yarn, go through one, go through two, go through two. And what this is going to do is going to create these two long, they're not cables but the 3D long effect. And now we're going to work on our middle. Now, because I have 22 chains, 22 stitches, I'm going to have four stitches in the middle. If you have chained more, this is where you're going to add your extra stitches. So for example, if you had chained 24, then you will have six in the middle instead of four. Because I have 22 stitches or 22 chains, I'm going to do four double crochet, normal regular double crochet. Once you have your double crochets, your very regular double crochets, we're going to repeat what we did in the opposite. So we're going to do two front post stitches. And then we're going to do the same to the next stitch. We're going to go behind the post, grab our yarn. And then like we did before, we're going to do one regular double crochet. And then we're going to repeat our group of four cable. So we're going to skip two and go behind the third post. Then we're going to go behind the fourth post. Then we're going to go behind the first post that we skipped. And then last we're going to go into that second, behind that second post. Then we're going to finish off with two regular double crochet. So we will always begin with two double crochet and we will always end with two double crochet. Then we're going to chain one before we turn our work. Don't forget to always chain one. And then you can see that your cable stitches are starting to take place. So once you turn your work over, we're going to be working into the back side. So we're going to start with our two double crochets. Like I said, we will always begin and end with two double crochet. So do your two double crochet. And because we're working in the back side, we want to go in front of the posts before we were going behind now we want to go in front so in the order that we have our posts in that twist we're going to go in front of the posts so we're not going to be twisting so we're going to go in front with our hook 
in the first post and we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to do a long double crochet so wrap around go through one wrap around go through two wrap around go through two and then we're going to do the same thing to the next post so we're going to take our hook and we're going to go in front of this next post so that's what it looks like on the front side So we're going to take our hook in front of that post and we're going to grab our yarn and then we're going to do a long double crochet. Then we're going to do our last post of our group of four and go in front. So this is what it will look like on the back side and this is what it looks like on the front side of our work. So now we're going to do a double crochet where we did a double crochet on the previous row. So do a normal regular double crochet in that stitch. Next we're going to work into these two front posts that we made and we're going to go in front of the post with our hook like so going to take your yarn and you're going to do a long double crochet and you're going to do the same thing to the next post Then we're going to work our double crochets and because I have my 22 stitches I have my four double crochet in the middle so if you are making yours bigger you will have more but if you're making it the same size as me then you'll have your four. Now we're going to repeat the process and do our front posts with our long double crochet. Wrap your yarn around your hook and go in front of this post just like we did before then you're going to do the same to the next post Then you're going to do your regular double crochet in the normal stitch. And then we're going to do what we did in the beginning with our group of four cable. So we're going to go behind the first cable post. So we're making it straight, we're not doing a twist. So we go in the first one and we're going to do our long double crochet. Then we're going to finish off by doing our two double crochet. Then don't forget to chain one before we turn our work. So this is what the back side of our cable stitches look like and this is what the front side looks like. So it's going to look different on each side 
Now we're going to be working our next row and basically this next row is going to be repeating what we did on our first row of cable stitches. So we're going to begin by doing two double crochets into our first two stitches. And then repeating what we did on that very first row of cable stitches, we're going to skip two and go behind the third post and do a long double crochet. Then we're going to go behind the next one, which is the fourth post and do a long double crochet. Then you're going to go behind the first post that we skipped. Then you're going to go into that second post that we skipped. Then we're going to do a double crochet into that next set, stitch which was a double crochet on the previous row as well. And then we're going to do our front post stitches on these two here. Do the same to the next stitch. And then you're going to do four double crochet and you're going to repeat the process for the rest of this row. So now you can start to see what your stitches are looking like with all your cables. Chaining one and turning our work over, we're going to be working in the back row again, which is going to be exactly the same as the last time we worked in the back row. So we're going to do our two double crochet and then we're going to be doing working the posts just like we did the last time in the back row. So we're not doing any twists, we're going in the order that we made and we're going to do our front posts. Once you've completed your back row, it will be exactly the same as the other times you did it and this is what it's going to be looking like. So what you want to do is keep repeating this process and repeating these rows for a total of 15 rows. 15 rows plus the first row of double crochets. So in total, it will be 16 rows. So for you, it may be different because if you are doing a paper white like me, you will have your 15 rows plus your first row of double crochets. If you are doing it for a book or a tablet, then you may want to do more rows. So do all of your rows and I'll meet you back. So once you've completed all of your rows, for me, it's my 15 rows of cable plus my first row of double crochets. This is what it's going to look like and you're going to need two pieces for this project two panels identical to themselves 
Before we stitch our pieces together, we're going to be doing these accent lines on the side. This is optional, but if you want that folklore effect, then keep watching. And we're going to achieve this by doing top stitches with our accent color. So working in this row here, this is where I'm going to put my top stitches and I'm going to insert my hook, pull my yarn through and I'm going to tie a little knot to secure it. Then you're going to pull through and you're going to do a chain. Then to do our top stitch, we're going to insert our hook and we're going to grab our yarn from the back side. We're going to pull through and then we're going to pull through our loop. So it's pretty much just doing slip stitches. So we're going to insert our hook back through. We're going to grab our yarn from the back and then we're going to pull through the loop. And that is how you can do your top stitches. So we're going to do this all the way to the end of our panel. Once you've finished that row of your top stitches, you can snap your yarn and pull through. And then you want to do the same thing to the other side, but we're only doing this to one panel. So you do not need to do this to both of your pieces, just one and do both sides. So now we're going to create the star and we're going to use the same color that we used for our accent color. So for me, I'm going to use white. We're going to start by making a magic circle. And then we're going to chain one. Then we're going to do one single crochet, one double crochet, and to create the point, we're going to chain two. Then we're going to do one double crochet. Then we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to do a double crochet. And then we're going to do our chain two and we're going to repeat this all around until we have five points to our star. Once you've done your fifth chain and your double crochet, you can now pull your ring closed and we're going to secure by doing a slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. You can now snip your yarn and weave that in and we're actually going to use the long tail from the middle to attach it to our panel. So keep that long. I'm going to attach my star in the third row from the top in the middle of where I did my double crochets and I'm going to be using the tail from my magic circle to attach the star. 
So I'm going to use a needle. I don't have a yarn needle, so I'm just using this one I found with a big eye. And I'm going to stitch it in and then it will be nice and secure. Once you've stitched that on and you've weaved all your ends in, we can now attach the panels together. And we're going to be doing this by doing a single crochet all around. So what we want to do is put the wrong sides together so the right sides are facing outwards. And then we're going to be attaching our yarn and the color that we used. So in my case, I'll be using my blue. And we're going to be attaching our yarn right at the top in the top corners of both panels and I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to pull it through and then secure with a chain. And we're going to be going all around the sides and the bottom, all sides except for the top. So we're going to go back into that stitch where we attached and we're going to do a single crochet. And then making sure that our panels are aligned together we're just going to continue single crocheting all the way around and while i'm single crocheting i'm going to bring that tail with so that it stays inside the single crochets and i don't have to weave it in later So I've done my last single crochet and I'm going to chain one and then snip my yarn and pull through. Then I'm just going to weave in this end. So now all that's left to do is our loop so we can loop it over our star. So for the loop we want to use the two middle double crochet stitches that we made. So I'm going to go into that first one so the second or the third double crochet and I'm going to pull my yarn through and tie a little knot to secure. Then I want to now chain the length that it's going to be to wrap around my star and that is going to be about 16 chains for me. It may be less or it may be more for you but just measure it before you attach. So once you have all the chains that you need, you're going to slip stitch into that second double crochet in the middle, next to the stitch where you started. So we're going to be working with slip stitches. So you're going to slip stitch back into that first stitch that we started, and then we're going to do a slip stitch into every one of our chains. Once you get to the end, we can now do a slip stitch into that double crochet stitch, snip our yarn, pull through and weave in our ends. So you now have your completed Kindle or book sleeve inspired by Taylor Swift's Folklore Cardigan. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know in the comments, leave a like or subscribe for new videos in the future. Let me know if you want to make any tutorials for anything in specific. 
Also, if you make one of these cases, let me know what colour you do. I'd love to hear it.